Baada ya cheche za maneno miongoni mwa viongozi humu nchini kuhusu BBI, hatimaye ripoti hiyo imewekwa wazi kwa umma mapendekezo akiwa chungu nzima. Mapendekezo ambayo wengi wameyakumbatia, kwanza ni mfumo wa uongozi ambapo rais atajukumika kwa kumteua waziri mkuu ambaye kabla ya kuanza kazi rasmi lazima bunge limpitishe na tatui kwa majukumu ya kuiongoza serikali. Ukuswala la uchaguzi nchini likiwa bado kama moto kulingana na ripoti ya BBI maoni yaliyokusanywa yalipendekeza kuwa kundi la wabunge sasa watakuwa maafisa katika tume ya uchaguzi nchini na hawatakuwa wanaegemea upande wowote. Ethnic antagonism and competition and the reports recommend that we abolish the winner takes all presidential system and I'll be saying about how. Number two, that we ensure that the president in terms of governing the country receives advice also from Wazir, a non-salary council of advisors who will then give him some advice and on issues of cohesion. Ni kabla na baada ya kila uchaguzi nchini wa Kenya hugawanyika kwa msingi ya kikabila, wa Kenya sasa wakitaka, wa Kenya wote kujumuishwa kwa misingi ya kisiasa, kiuchumi na kikanisa. One is that we do not have a national bond. And they also felt that there is no luxury of time. There is an urgent need to change. Hali mbaya ya uchumi na poziri kwa kaba wa Kenya wengi kuhu, serekali mewekwa kwenye ratili kuwa lazima ingili ya kati na kwa nusuru wanainchi wanaumia na uchumi uimarishwe ili kumnufaisha kila mkenya. We must also ensure that all new roads coming up in urban areas must have walkways for pedestrians and cycling them for cyclists. Tangu mwaka wa elfu mbili na kumi Kenya ilipoleta ugatuzi wa Kenya wanaisi kuwa maendeleo haja jatekelezu wa kikamilifu. Kwa hivyo ipo haja ya maendeleo kupelekwa kwa kila kona ya inchi hii. Clifford Ndubi, TV47, Nairobi.